Hi everyone, it's Violet and Lee from the Crow, Crow and the Cauldron. Cauldron. And today is really, we're coming to you with our very first um, segment. So we're going to be getting into a few things that are all Leo, all things happening this August. Some of the en energy changes that are going on all around us. And um, we've, we've had a couple of questions come in, so we're going to throw those back at you. So thanks to everyone who's kind of sent things through. We're going to grab a couple of those today and sort of give you some feedback on some of the questions that you've sent through. Um, and if you want to get your questions answered or you've got a little psychic situation or you want to know a little bit more, just go on to Crown Cauldron page on Instagram. Drop us a line, DM us, send us an email to gypsycauldron at gmail and just put psychic question, a little note in the comment field and we will pick you up for next Friday. So thanks to everyone who's been kind of sending us things and asking different questions and giving us some feedback. It's been really great. And just for viewing. Yep. Thanks for watching. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And we're going to have some really great competitions coming. I'm going to... Get some. Stop. Lee's gonna get a mug. <laughs> I'm gonna get some um, mug giveaways. I think going. <laughs> Everybody gets giveaways except for me. I'm gonna get some stuff happening on here and get some different product going as we get going. So um, make sure to like and share and make sure you get the alerts on all of this. We will be putting some of this up into the feed on the Instagrams just until we get everyone knowing where we are and what's happening. And anybody that sends Lee a mug, their reading will be pushed forward. <laughs> <laughs> Jump the queue! <laughs> so, that will not be happening. The mugs, the mugs will come through Violet. Um, a little bit about what we do. So, as most of you know, I'm a psychic clairvoyant. I'm a master coach with neurosemantics, neurolinguistics, hypnotherapy and applied psychotherapy is a lot of my background with remedial massage work and aromatherapy. I make a lot of the products too that we put in here for spell crafting and do a lot of the sort of basis. That's a little bit about me. Uh, and for me, um, I'm a psychic empath, clairvoyant um, and I have a 19 year career as a reflexologist and working with crystals and essential oils. Uh, and especially I have recently completed my um, advanced practitioner course in crystal healing. So that has now ramped up um, to be at the forefront of a lot of what I do. This I work a lot with sound and energy. So energy is my thing. I feel it um, constantly. I, being an empath, I get bombarded with energy. So uh, best way to play is to work with it. And um, it's the soft yeah. and sensitive one. I, Lee's our soft and gentle touch here at Crown Cauldron. <laughs> Violet's a bit no, of um, <laughs> the sledgehammer approach to things. Go head on. Um, but we make we make a lovely duo here and the energy is really great. We're absolutely loving Peakhurst here in Sydney and the local environment. It's just yeah, amazing. Yeah, we, we really, big, big uh, hello and thank you to all of our community here. Incredible. Because they've welcomed us with open arms and we, we really love when they come in and visit us on a daily basis and bring their pets. Yeah, we've done some great, yeah. um, well, Lee's done some great dog work and dog healing work and we've had we've had um cats in to visit and their little baby pouches and slings with their mums so that's been beautiful it's we been love a, the yeah, animal it's energy it's been a really nice surprise to have that come through and yeah yep. we're really grateful because the community really has um enjoyed us moving in yeah they've been super supportive so thanks to everyone from the local area and people that have been coming to visit us from all over yeah, Sydney, really. seeing our posts and like making special drives. That's been absolutely amazing. Uh, and we are here for your questions. We, you know, a big part of what we do is, yeah, drop in. You've got some questions. You want to talk something out. We're 100% uh, available to talk to you and do those things and, and try and guide you the best that we can with our combined careers here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so next up for us is pretty much everything Leo. I hope everyone's been coping through this August period. It's been pretty 
It's been really rough. It's been a real roller rough. coaster, but I, it's rough. <laughs> But I have to say, it's a, it's a really nice time if you understand what the energy is. There is an allowance within this roller coaster of energy to really go within and make some really fantastic directional choices. Um, it's a nice time for planning and really looking at our shadow sides and finding the beauty of that in us. So if you, if you don't let it get to you, and you're willing to knuckle down, um, there's, there's huge opportunity for empowerment and, and forging your way forward. Um, so it all lots comes of breakthroughs. down to that self ownership. What, yeah. Whilst all the reflection work's coming up and all that past shit is like really hitting you, because um, welcome, to, welcome to that, and there's more to come, by the way. Enjoy that Mercury retrograde on its way in. And so, literally, it's it's to bring bring all this crap up, right? Draw it all up to the surface and say, what what have we released? What's still nagging at us? What haven't we let go of? How can we improve? And to me, uh, you know, I'm a big believer in self ownership. You know, we live in this world, and I call it the four lane super highway of everything, right? You can go through the drive through of comfort. Um, and really, we're never, we're never kind of put to the challenge, especially in the Western world as such, especially here, to be uncomfortable. Maybe some of us are feeling it a bit more now as economic pressures change, but this idea that, you know, everything comes to us, you know, it can be delivered, it can be dropped through, I don't have to be uncomfortable at any stage, that when personal and emotional uncomfortableness comes up and trauma, you know, we really need to dig deep and do the work. And... The only person who can do it is you. Yeah, a hundred percent. And I and I mean I talk to this all the time, but but when you come in here and you come for a healing or you come for a coaching session, um, even for readings, it's a partnership. Yep. We're partnering with you. So we're not gonna sit here and do all the work and hand you off all fixed and send you on your way. It's a partnership. So expect to do some work when you come in. It's not all about us and you really do need to own your stuff. We have to do it. <sighs> Oh, we have to do it <laughs> and it's hard work but, but if you want to move forward if you want that growth if you want to you know uh, open your world up and open your pathways up you you have to do it you know you have to and so when you come in here <laughs> I might be the gentle one but let me tell you I you need to do the work too I look I th I think, you know, there's a really large misconception that goes on about psychic readings and that there's so many different types of psychic readers and healers. And, and even in what I do, there's so many different types of coaching and coaching services and counseling. And I think even as the client, you need to do your research. You need to kind of make sure that you've done your research on that person that you're going to, you're making sure it's aligning with where you're at. Um, I always say to people, I'm really open about it. I'm not, I'm not a fortune teller. Um, you know, I don't sit with that at all. Um, and so if you're coming to see, you know, when I, when I'm going to get married, how many kids I'm going to get, I'm not the reader for you. And I'm open about that. Uh, and, but I will point you to readers that will do that. And I a hundred percent back their skill and their talent and what they do. But I think as clients, you really need to know who your readers are, what you're going for, what's your purpose, what's driving you, and what you want to get out of it. Yeah, exactly. Like, what's your end goal of coming to a session? What do you want to get out of it? If you're out of balance, really talk to your healers and practitioners the same way you would with your doctor, right? Make sure it's going to tick some boxes for you and it's really getting you what you need. Um, to me, that's the key in everything that you do in this world. Yeah, otherwise, what are you doing? You're throwing your money down the drain. I mean, really yeah. make sure that you're getting what you need because you want to walk away and you want to have forward movement. You, you want to heal. You want to uh, be on the right path and take the right steps. Or just so, get a, a piece of information that you go, wow, that was a perspective I didn't have before. Yeah. It's a piece of, it's a piece of knowledge, knowledge that I now can use as this essential tool. And mm -hmm. I had a really great, um, some really great feedback today from one of my clients who did a coaching session with me to get somewhere else. And it was like, really took the information on board. And one of the suggestions I was like, well, you decide where you want to go. 
you actually sit down and think, where do I want to be? Who do I want to work for? Make the list, right? Forget whether it's reasonable or can you have it? Just, just make the list. And then do yourself the service of believing in yourself and actually putting yourself out there in the uncomfortable space and see what actually comes to you. Trust that process. And mind-blowingly, that list was made and this person actually took the initiative and put that out there and bang, they're in the door of somewhere that they was on their top sort of 10 list. That's pretty amazing stuff. But that's all, that's not me doing the work. Lee didn't do the work. The ideas, the the strategy was there. Yeah, a but difference the, of perspective. They did the work. But that person did the work themselves. They actioned it. They actioned it. They took it and they ran with it and now they have a result. And that to me, you know, we talk a lot of bogus manifestation crap, right? And, and I'm a great believer in mind creates, mind creates, mind creates feeling, feeling incentivizes us to take action, 100%. And so when I when I call it the rubbish of manifestation, it's like we're just being bombarded with like 15 principles, seven principles to manifest this. Here's the principle. At the end of the day, it's going to take you putting some steps in place for it to come. Yes, you've got to have belief. Yes, you've got to be able to see it. Yes, you've got to be able to write it down. But you're also going to have to action it. That's yeah. simple. That's spellcraft as well. There's an action, intention, action, intention, action. Yeah. You can say affirmations till the cows come home, but if you don't put action to that as well, then what do you think is going to happen? Yeah. You affirmations know? are great brain reprogramming, and we need them. We need all these pieces of the puzzle. <laughs> but it's a piece, yeah. right? It's a piece of the puzzle. It's not the whole puzzle. Absolutely. You know? So now, do we have some, um, I think we had someone write in and ask some questions. I do. I have an Alison who's currently floating around overseas, um, had Lucky taken you. off on a bit of a, a break and go and seek some new life. And um, the person that she left behind has kind of gone a little bit AWOL, not answering things, not picking up calls, not doing these sorts of things. So there was a little question there as to... You know, obviously, it's, this person wasn't so happy when they left, I would imagine. And so the question is, you know, as I come back, is this person going to be there? Are they going to turn up for me? Are, are we going to speak? Is there going to be something here on that give end of that? So it was a great question, energy-based question as well. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I, I'd say often the answer's right in front of your face, right? I don't know if I would give my time and attention to someone who, you know, when I finally step up to doing something that I've wanted to do and something for me, takes that moment and opportunity to um, turn the lights off, you know, as painful as that is. But I also understand that they need the desire to have conclusions and conversations. You know, that's an adult expectation. <laughs> However, most people are not adults. So what we've got today is we've got uh, Frida's lovely cards here. These are the Major Icon deck that she makes. She's an Australian artist and creator from Adelaide. And she makes this beautiful, beautiful tarot deck. And so just for Alison today, Lee's going to pick your magic card out of this deck about your situation and give you an explanation. Strength. Right, strength card, power. so the power, the power to sit in your own space, to know what you want, to be able to move forward with what you need to move forward with without worrying about control issues or what somebody else wants. What do you want? How do you want that to look for you? Uh, is this person here to support you in, in being able to do that moving forward or are they not? Because that makes the uh, the answer pretty clear, really. Yeah. Taking control back yeah. of the situation from your perspective. And so really for us, that's sort of saying that you need to own this. You need to step into that power. And for me, this person's just, they're not being honest. They're not dealing straight with you. And the behavior is, is not acceptable. It really is not acceptable. And you've really got to step into that and say, hey, I'm worth more than this. 
Um, I'm entitled to an answer. Uh, I'm entitled to communication. Yeah. <laughs> you know, especially when you've been in a relationship and it's actually a relationship and it's all those things. Um, to me, it's pretty out there to sort of jump on a plane and expect to come back and this person just, pff, you're on a plane, you've gone somewhere else, I'm not going to answer anything. Yeah, and I think some quiet reflection for you, Alison, will, you know, the answers are there, you have them. And I think with that strength and that power and standing in your own convictions, yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of beautiful life that can happen for you when you do that and not being swayed by what somebody else is trying to force you into. Um, I think you know where you need to be and what you need to do or you wouldn't have gotten on a plane on your own and shot off, right? Yep. So I, I think you're going to get your opportunity to have that conversation, but I'm not going to back this person as your person. That's 100% from me. Don't you think? I agree. Now we've got uh, another lovely question before we move on to some of the energies and Liz got some nice crystal energies prepped for you all here. But we've got a little question about uh, from the lovely Mary who's literally interested as to whether she's going to sell her property this year. She's got a pretty decent sized property and she's pretty keen to know is this property going to sell and will they be relocating this year? Will it all happen this year? Ah, I've got a pretty good vibe about that. Yeah, I, I sort of, I'm tending to the yes. Um, I, I kind of would even look September standing out for me. Ooh. Do you want to talk to that? We've got the Hierophant here. So the Hierophant for me really brings through that sense of authority, the idea of mentorship. So we've definitely got some power players involved here, probably a couple of little loopholes to sort of finish up, seal over. But I definitely feel that we're heading into this governance of change. And so, yeah, I've got to say to you, I do feel that you'll be going. I've got this really strange vibe, like late September. Yeah, I keep hearing September. And I think really oddly, I think this will be kind of off the market too. I don't think it's something where we've even necessarily got it like right out in full view. I think that this comes kind of off market late September for me, somewhere from the 19th onwards keeps coming through my brain. And I just feel that this is, yep, it's going to sell. You're a bit on a limb there, but I, I just feel that you're going to have a bit more of a, I feel like a bit more of an urban move, kind of moving more into something a bit more convenient, more accessible, um, get a lot of mountain, still mountain range with this, but I feel like it's more convenient, more accessible. I see main roads coming with it. So that's a yes from us. Yep. That's Definitely a yes. yes. So what crystals have you got for me? Okay, so what we am I, were, playing I with? think I think what we were what keeps coming up for us is um, you know empowerment, self empowerment, and oh. and you know that self responsibility. So what we were looking at is just some crystals that might work uh, towards assisting you with that. So if you're doing grids or if you're uh, you really love those grids, stuff. don't you? Yeah, I you love, love the grid work. I'm loving the grid work. So probably the first one is our master amethyst. Um, amethyst is so good for so many things. but mm, Dreams. Um, look how beautiful that is. That is lovely. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, but for clear and solid mindset, you know, mm. being able to really... Channel. Have that mental clarity. Um, that's why I guess it's so good for us as a sleep stone as well. So putting a little piece in the bedroom is always good. But mental clarity, I mean, Amethyst is a master healer. So again, looking at self-empowerment, if you wanted a little uh, altar to work with or a little grid or something mm. maybe on your desk at work that's a, an empowerment um, I always think piece. of it as a channel. You yeah. know, I always think of it like, yeah, like dreamscape and channels and kind of guides. and Yeah, I mean, there is always that connection with Amethyst. Amethyst is also a master healer, but it always that third eye thing, right? It, yeah. I think it really works with the third eye, but as in a self-empowerment, just for that mental clarity. It's the, beautiful, that. Yeah. The other thing was carnelian so you got a beautiful piece of raw carnelian here these pieces are so and doesn't nice. that not look like the carnelian you normally think of i just love these because they're raw 
They're, they're born, are, you know. just as they come. They haven't been polished or played with other than being removed from the earth. And they, when you put a bit of light with them, you get this beautiful kind of reddish orange come through that raw piece. Yeah. It's beautiful. So that real sacral energy and... Um, it's courage, you know, isn't it? Rejuvenating it's... and invigorating and, you know, allowing that creativity to yeah. flow that we need with self-empowerment. And yes, I am looking because I do write notes on my curve. <laughs> but for willpower and energy, um, you can't go past a piece of carnelian. So health I would definitely too, add that. For me, it's a carnelian really strengthening the health sector, bringing up that kind of, you know, balancing out your health, courage, I just really feel it. And to me, fire, right? Yeah. Especially in the Leo season, I get a real deep sense of kind of fire with this as well, that passion zone. Because um, really this month, um, as well as being deeply reflective, it's also a fire energy. And then the other one, which I guess fire would also represent, yeah. is our beautiful citrine. Okay, so joy, manifestation. Money. Okay, money. <laughs> and Leo. And right? also health, you know, great Solar health plexus stones. energy, bringing in that inner child, allowing that inner child to play, bringing sunshine in through the, through the gut, into mm. the stomach, into the system, brightening everything up. It really is like a piece of sun. Mm. My mum used to, and she still does, carry citrine with her and she has a beautiful citrine piece on her chain. And to her, it was always the abundance that radiated and she wouldn't go anywhere without it. I think she even has a giant ring with citrine in it. Yeah, I have a nice big um, citrine point that's on a necklace um, that a friend made for me and I just love it. And it's, it's really nice to wear and it just reminds you to bring that inner sunshine right through. I like know? that. I like that as a sense of joy, carrying yeah. a piece of joy being, you know, and touchstone mentality is really great. Having something where you go, oh, that's joy, that's comfort, that's my health, that's why I'm here, that connection, you know, it's beautiful. Um, I like that stuff. And sun being, you know, the sun is our big healer. Oh, I mean, we're all sun worshippers after all. Yeah, that's right. You know, <laughs> what's what's one thing that's just really going to brighten you up and, and, and re help you recover when you haven't been well is just to sit in the sun and you know, sort of draw in that warmth and, and that healing power of, of our, you know, our sun. So citrine really encompasses all of that and is beautiful. And I also think too, when I come to crystals, I always think of oils with empowerment. And one of the most beautiful blends for empowerment for me is ginger and grapefruit. Oh, um, strong and zesty and yeah, go I mean, and oh, I love the smell of um, grapefruit. Right, it's really and gin fresh. ginger is it's the it's the oil of empowerment. But when you blend it with grapefruit, I mean, it just amplifies that self love, that self care, that self empowerment, which is what we're talking about. So that be my oil blend for this Leo season is Ooh. ginger and grapefruit. Douse some of that. So what sort of base would we put that in? Um, look, whatever you want. You can go with some, obviously, a little bit of almond oil, sweet almond oil. I like almond oil. Yeah, Hazelnut is good too, or an apricot kernel. Apricot, yeah. And I mean, again, if people have allergies um, with nuts, you can look at your coconut oils and yep, things like that. Yeah, fractionated coconut. Which is nice and light. But, yeah, again, sweet almonds is a beautiful place Speaking to of um, oils and stuff, we got some new products in today from Honey and Walnut. We got some Keep Dreaming Roller and some Mama oh, Rage. Mama Rage. So all those mamas out there that need to roar a little with their Leo energy. Yeah, these are beautiful. They're like a 30 ml bottle too. And they've all been really beautifully set. Oils of intention, all natural, handmade here in Australia. This is one of our own mums who's had a lot to cope with and kind of knows that we need things to settle kids or settle ourselves. So she's made us a beautiful range today. She really has. She? And we're really excited to have that in store. And again, I'm loving the idea of just pillow sprays too. These yeah. are little pillow sprays. You just spray on your pillow before you go to sleep at night. Yes. And it's great for kids because you don't need anything too Not strong. Not too much. Kids, so just a nice pillow spray is lovely. Beautifully done. I'm very happy. And we got, we restocked, but we also got a new soap in. These are from Soap Cult, so I hope you've joined the cult. <laughs> um, this is Love Witch Soap. I love how she's made these in squares. 
And this is all coconut and moisturizing. Oh, I'm, and the smell when we opened the box up this morning. I feel oh. it. Don't you? You just go, oh. The smell, so I don't think I could get past the smell. I am I was absolutely. Like, oh, it's so beautiful. The whole box was like radiating the stuff. Rose, that's, that's what's coming through. The coconut oil, the rose. And they're set with sea salt as well, which is I a love fantastic that. cleanser. Exfoliator. Right? And then her other one, which is just beautiful, is called Temple. This was so popular, it flew off the shelves in the first week that we got them. We so. couldn't keep it on, even the second lot. So we're, we're knee deep in the third batch of this stuff. Um, and this is just amazing. It's got sea salt, sweet almond oil, really hydrating. <coughs> Absolutely. And they look just divine. So for anyone that was after those beautiful temple salts and missed out last time, we had some. Yeah. Quick. Her whole range is here in terms of the mandrake and the ritual soaps and the initiation and golden dawn. Um, there are some incredible makers here in, here in Australia and we're really trying to support and bring them into play also. So we really appreciate your touching base with us today. Um, joining us in our first little live. We're going to get more in depth as we go along and you can expect some little giveaways as our following sort of go up and we yeah. increase things. Um, and please get your questions in. Like, yeah. like it gives us something Next to Friday. work with. That way we're giving you something that you want to know. Um, so it's, it's, that's yeah. what we want. It's our opportunity to give back. So, you know, Friday night, Saturday, whenever you get around to watching us because this will be uploaded to the channel. Grab your mug. I don't have one. And I'm going to run a pitch-up mug competition as we get going. She's and the, it the in best life. photo of the best mug from Mug Club, because I'm going to run a mug club, <laughs> will win something. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you, you so much for joining us. And we look forward to next Friday and really getting into more of your questions. Bye. Bye, everyone.